Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Troilus and Cressida and we get to hear from Troilus again today in Act 1, Scene 1. We haven't gotten very far in this play yet. Uh, basically what we know is that this play takes place in Troy, which was a city in like current day Turkey. And the Greeks are invading Troy or, or laying siege outside of Troy because the Greek king Menelaus had a wife named Helen Helen of Troy, who was so beautiful, Paris from Troy went and like stole her and they are living, Paris and Helen are living in Troy. So the Greeks are laying siege outside Troy to try to get Helen back. But we're not really focused on that. I mean, there is the fact that there's the war going on outside. But at the beginning of the scene, we have Troilus coming in with Pandarus. Pandarus is Cressida's uncle. We have Troilus coming in and, and being like, you know, oh, I can't fight anymore. I'm too much in love. Take this armor off. It does me no good. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm so in love with Cressida that I just, I can't be bothered to fight and, and all this sort of thing. And so he's talking to Pandarus and Pandarus is like, yeah, actually she's, she's pretty awesome. And her hair's great and her voice is nice and she's really, really beautiful. And in yesterday's monologue, we had Troilus being like, stop saying things like that to me because every time you tell me how wonderful she is, it's like a knife in the heart because we're not together and Pandarus is like well I'm just you know I'm just speaking the truth you know she is she is pretty and all that sort of thing and Troilus is like but just stop and Pandarus is like okay fine if you don't want if you don't want to hear about her if you don't want to hear from her then I'll just leave and Pandarus leaves and then alarm bells go go off because you know it's a war and they have to sound the alarm from time to time but as the alarm is going off and Pandarus has just exited Troilus says Peace, you ungracious clamors. Peace, rude sounds. Fools on both sides. Helen must needs be fair when with your blood you daily paint her thus. I cannot fight upon this argument. It is too starved a subject for my sword. But Pandarus, oh, oh gods, how do you plague me? I cannot come to Cressid but by Pandar, and he's as teachy to be wooed to woo as she is stubborn, chaste against all suit. Tell me, Apollo, for thy Daphne's love, what Cressid is, what Pandar, and what we. Her bed is India, there she lies, a pearl, between our Ilium and where she resides. Let it be called the wild and wandering flood, ourself the merchant, and this sailing Pandar, our doubtful hope, our convoy, and our bark. So this is more of Troilus being Troilus, um, not wanting to, sorry, that's my chair. Uh, that's more Troilus being Troilus. He doesn't want to fight because he's so hung up on Cressida. So he's like, you know, oh, you stupid war, go away. I have other things going on. I'm just, I'm so in love with Cressida. But he also knows that the only way that he's going to get to Cressida is through Pandarus, who he just kicked out because Pandarus was kind of driving him bonkers and that sort of thing. So he's, he's being sad and weepy emo, overly dramatic about this whole thing. But then an alarm sounds again and Aeneas comes in, Aeneas being a, a Trojan commander. And he's like, why aren't you out there fighting? And Troilus is like, I'm, I'm just, I just can't, I just can't be fighting today. He's, early millennial, I guess. And um, Aeneas is like, but you know, didn't you hear the alarms? That's because, that's because Paris has come back. He's been injured. And Troilus is like, who injured him? And he says, it was Menelaus. So like, we all gotta go. And Troilus is like, okay, fine. And they leave. And that's the end of act one, scene one. So we have a very reluctant soldier in the grips of a, a massive crush who's being very overly dramatic about it and he just can't even be bothered to fight a war but since since like his his king his leader paris is now injured by the greek king and it, and he's not he's not totally on board with this helen is so awesome that she's worth fighting over sort of a thing at the moment he's like you know who's who's helen is she really worth all of this so that's a question that's sort of raised in this this monologue as well but anyway 
we're just at the beginning of the play. We still got to meet Cressida. We still got to find out what's going to happen with this war. All sorts of, all sorts of fun stuff coming up. So come on back tomorrow for more. I'll see you then. Mwah.